So this is the curve and playground. We have a buckyball or a Buckminster Fullery. We have a graphene sheet. And we have a carbon nanotube over here. Except the real versions of these are so small, you can never see them. Even with the most powerful optical microscope, you would never see them. So we have to have machines that can feel these tiny things so we know what they look like. Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah. All right, ready? Buckyball and nanotube and go! Yeah. And so how this morphed into becoming a playground was a brainstorming session um, when Andrew Greenberg and I and a couple other people were standing around the mountain talking about how nice it was, but wondering what use we would find for it. And so I couldn't tell you right now who suggested it first, but probably nearly at the very same instant, Andrew and I said, playground equipment, kids could crawl on it. And so that sort of began the process. So the buckyball, uh, the blueprints for this were based off of x-ray crystallography data. And x-ray crystallography is a way that we learn about structures of, of different molecules. So the bond angles and the bond lengths are to scale of what a buckyball would actually be. So developed educational content to go along with it in the form of signs that are out here. We'll talk about the different allotropes that are on the playground and then we also have a website that complements, that talks about carbon chemistry a little bit, it talks about atoms, and it also talks about some of the different uh, unique characteristics of the different allotropes of carbon. Because it's a unique object, there were unique challenges all the way through it. Not only was it a, a very great effort, but it was a very great team effort. And, you know, it's not, I'm not changing the world, but I want kids to enjoy science like I do.